Hello, hello, guys. Uh, today we have a nice tell. I won't lie to you. This is a very, very lovely tell, but it's not turning on. But as soon as we plug in the, the charger, the charging light goes away. See, the problem is the 19 volt. The 19 volt is short set. There is a short on the 19 volt. Let's do a physical inspection. Uh, so you just use your eyes. Okay. Anyway, here is the problem. Let's hope. I think I think I'm not sure, but I think the problem is here. I think this is the, it. I think this is the problem. Okay. Let's check for shorts. How do you check for shorts? How do you check for shorts? Here, this is your multimeter. You put it on true on to uh, continuity mode you see the sign there and it shows you a value of of one and again to test that it's, that it's on the continuity mode when you touch this it needs to show you a value of of zero zero here yeah, zero 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 and then now let's check for shorts how to check for shorts simple you touch uh, on the screw hole like this with one probe on the screw hole and the other one you touch the component that you think it's shorted and you, che you check if there is a continuity on both sides or not because one side of the capacity as you can mm -hmm. see here it should be connected to ground but the other one it should be the main uh, power rail and this is the multimeter let's go back to our microscope here we are let's check for short I think this is shorted and again a simple simple method guys and again a simple method you can just touch both sides if it's beeping then it's shorted in our case it is shorted as you can see it's shorted but before we even conclude this shorted let's test no guys the problem is this it's here it's shorted as you can see, uh, even this uh, this one as well, obvious. If this one is shorted, even this one to be shorted. Why? It's because they are on the same same uh, power rail, all right? Because they are on the same power power rail. Apply some flux. Eh? Think, think this is okay. okay. You have to be careful on how you are holding and how you are holding your thing. Why? It's because there is a PCH next to this capacitor, so we have to be very careful. Otherwise, we end up burning, burning the PCH. Don't force it. Okay, since this is not coming out, it's simple. Uh, I don't know why it's not coming out it's because it's super strong. Let's just use a thing, it's kind of like this. Let's face it directly. All right. As you can see, I'm checking the other capacitor and there's no short. Remember, there were two capacitors here, you saw, right? And uh, both of them were shorted because the other one was shorted since they are on the same same power rail. But now, the problem has been, it's been solved. Let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's put back everything. Okay, guys. Uh, now, let's see. Okay. I'm done putting back everything. Okay, I think we have to connect the battery. Yep, let's press the power button. Okay, no power, not turning on. All right, went down spin. 
okay i think the battery it's it's, it's down let me plug in the charger Okay, we have the charging light. Hope you can see we have the charging light. Uh, it's not shorted. This time it's not shorted. But the question is why is not turning on? Oh, okay, turning on. Okay, it's turning on and it says uh, press F1 to continue. As you can see, the PC is working fine. Anyway, guys, before I go, press the subscribe uh, button. I'll have to change this. Press the subscribe button and uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, watch uh, my videos. Anyway, sharp, sharp.